Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to replace the slave cylinder for a clutch and the master cylinder for a 2003 Honda Civic. So, first off, here's a slave cylinder. Down here is the clutch fork right there in the middle. Um, there's a piece of rubber that goes over that. Um, you might have that, I'm not sure, you probably will if you have a 7th uh, generation Honda Civic. So it's just easier to take that out. Um, and then down here, well, you can't see it from the camera, but, uh, clutch cylinder is, so basically there's, that's the master cylinder for the brakes. The master cylinder for the clutch is down below that to the right. Um, I'll show you what it looks like in the car. Okay. All right. So. Okay, there it is, There's a, right there. Um, first you have to take this little pin out, this cotter pin, I already did that, it's right there. And then you're gonna take these, I believe they're 12 millimeter bolts. There's one there, and then one on the other side, um, right there, take that out. Just wanna take these 12 millimeter bolts off. Not too hard. There we go. thing you want to do <clears throat> take off that little clamp on your hose there we go now you should be able to just take this hose off all right I'm gonna need two hands for this So, I forgot to mention, I already took <clears throat> the reservoir out. All you had to do was uh, take this little clamp off, and then the hose, and then boom, that's out. That's out of the way. And then that hose, obviously, that goes down to the clutch master, which, see if I can get an angle on it. So you got the hose here. Let me just get that out of the way. There you go, you can see it down there. Now what I'm gonna have to do is uh, go through oh, wheel well. I'm gonna take the tire off just so it's out of my way. And then I'm gonna go up here where the, so there's the brake master cylinder, but it's over here. There's a clutch line right here and it's somewhere in this general area. So I'm gonna take the tire off. So this is a lot easier. Okay, now the next step to get that uh, master cylinder out of there. I took the tire off and I just came under here. I already did this though. But what I did was just pull that off. Pulled that uh, master cylinder right out. And now I'm going to loosen that, that nut right there at the top. Take that, take that clutch line out. Now let's see what it takes. I'm guessing it's going to take 12 millimeter. Yep, it's 12 millimeter. It fits right in there. Bend it. I'm gonna spray that a little bit. WD-40.
and then we'll let that sit for a little bit. Okay, I got a 17 millimeter wrench on the bottom nut and a 12 millimeter on the top. Now I want to try to loosen it. Okay, now what you want to do is you have to take off this little retaining clip here so you can put it on the new one. Um, the new one's exactly the same. You just have to take that off. And I just have, I'm just using a flathead screwdriver and I already pried some most of it out. But you need to use this uh, clamp to hold it down. So just pry that off so you can get this, uh, this nut on, the new one. Here's the old one. So basically the difference between these two, I think there was an internal uh, leakage going on in the old one because this this moves around. See that? I get it. Yeah, that move that wiggles around pretty easily. This one doesn't. It's nice and tight. So even though this pushes in still and it releases. If I can get it to, it still releases and all that. The spring still works, but there's come some kind of seal that's not working on this one. Okay, I got that on, and basically you just want to insert it from the flat side. So this is the old one. Insert it from the flat side. They're a little bit wider, and then you just hammer it in there. And I got this um, brake master cylinder bleeder kit, and you can use it on the clutch too. I got this off of Amazon. Um, I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check it out. Um, this probably isn't required, but I'm just doing it to make sure that I have a good fit on this. And uh, so it comes with, you know, two hoses and a, several adapters for your <clears throat> for your master cylinder, so it fits in there. So um, I'm going to get everything hooked up and start bleeding the clutch master cylinder. Here's a really important piece of information right here. This is the old clutch fitting that goes. Um, this is the piece that the clutch line screws into. This is attached to the master cylinder. Um, when you buy your new master cylinder, you should get um, whoops, you should get a little uh, rubber O-ring. So um, I got two of them just in case. And what do you know? This one broke on me. Um, so that's why I got two, just in case that were to happen. Because I was trying to fit it on the wrong, on the wrong part of this clutch fitting. Um, you're gonna want to put the O-ring right on the tip of that, right, right there, not in the middle or up here. You don't want it on here or there. Um, I was trying to put it in here in the middle, so then the retaining clips would be sealed. But that actually doesn't help at all. It just makes it worse. So you just want to make sure that the rubber fitting is right around here on the on the very bottom. And then if you want to be even more precautious, um, you can put like a you know a little O-ring here at the base up here. That's what I did. You don't have to do that, but that way it just doesn't move around at all or anything. I just put an O-ring at the top here. And then uh, so you just hook your retaining clip back up. And um, that's it. And then you get your clutch line screwed in there. So for this part, 
um, uh, you want to make sure that you get the clutch line threaded in there before you put the master slave cylinder back. It'll make it a lot easier on you. And then, uh, so I had the 17 millimeter flare nut wrench on the bottom, and then the uh, 12 millimeter on the top, because once it starts getting tight, you need that 17 millimeter at the bottom. And now I'm just going to feed it back into the firewall. Okay, I got the new master cylinder in, and um, I screwed in the two 12 millimeter nuts. And you want to make sure this is an important part that you adjust your new master cylinder about the same length as your old one. You don't want it to be too short or too long. If you have it too short, you'll have too much play in the pedal. So you want to have it have these holes lined up where the clutch pedal is. And with the master cylinder, these you want to have those lined up, and then uh, then your next step, you'll just put your cotter pin in, put the pin in there, and I'll try to do that now. All right, this is all adjusted. There's um, there's not too much play in the pedal. It's lined up perfectly. And when you put the cotter pin in, make sure you have the flat side of this part facing you. That way, this is towards you this this little pin is towards you You don't want to have this flipped around or else you're gonna have this little pin on the other side and it's gonna be really difficult to get out now the next step is I'm gonna fill up the reservoir hook up my slave cylinder make sure you know make sure there's enough grease here on the on the ball and then also on the clutch fork down here I got a flare nut set or a line wrench just for this specific job, that way it's not going to strip the nut on here. 